This video has been sponsored by Let's Get Checked. More about them later on. Two things before we get started. Firstly, make sure you've got the GoPro Hero 11 set up to shoot raw images. And then secondly, you're gonna need software that can process raw images. For me, I use Adobe Lightroom. You might be able to follow along with similar software, but you'll get best results copying what I'm doing in Lightroom. I'm gonna take you out in an on-location photo shoot. I'm gonna show you some of the photographs I take. I'm gonna quickly show you the edits. If you wanna see that edit and process in detail, I'm gonna post that as a separate video because there's a lot more to that, it's about 30 minutes long. But for this video, we're mostly gonna focus on the fun and creative aspects of taking photographs with a GoPro. Let's go for a hike and I'll show you exactly what the GoPro Hero 11 is capable of. This is Connor. I've known Connor for a couple of years, <laughs> but that means like 30. <laughs> yeah, it's about 30. Connor's and shooting on a Fuji X-T4. Fuji X-T4, 16 to 55 zoom lens. I didn't normally shoot primes, but didn't want to carry them all today. So. Ooh, normally shoots primes. Just, just dropping that in there, humble brag. I'll bring the GoPro, and I'll only take photographs with the GoPro, and Connor can take photographs with his proper camera and then we can we can compare them. Now, the trick I find with taking photographs with a GoPro is you have to work with the fact that it's a crazy fisheye lens. It's equivalent to about 14 millimeters which is super super wide. It doesn't have close focusing so if you get anything closer than about 30 centimeters to the lens it goes out of focus. It's tricky to find compositions that work with it. But what you want is like leading lines and contrast and rule of thirds what other photography uh, terms are they? Uh, golden ratio. A golden ratio. Uh, um, just point the camera at something that looks like, like this. This is interesting. There we go. Yeah, that's interesting there, but it needs a subject. You can walk into this and be my subject. Yeah. Climb up it a bit. Yeah. Free. A bit more. Okay, let's get through this Lightroom edit. And the first thing I always do is grab the shadows and pull them up to restore that shadow information. Then I pull down the highlights as well to restore highlight, recover highlight information. Um, and then I'll go down and I'm gonna pull up the clarity. It's like a secret slider that just adds immediate drama and contrast into a shot. Then I'm gonna go up and draw a linear gradient over the sky. This lets me target the sky on its own. Then I use this dehaze slider, which acts almost like a polarizing filter to really bring out the blues and the contrast in the sky. Just increase the overall exposure a bit as it's a bit dark. And then I go and play with the curves to more precisely add contrast into the image. One final crucial thing to do to remove that GoPro action camera look is to go down to lens correction and go in there and find the preset for GoPro. It might not have the one for the Hero 11 as it's quite new, but just select whichever one is the newest, in which case GoPro Hero 10 Black. And that removes the fisheye look and creates a much more natural wide angle photograph. And there we go, a before and after, like really, really quick edits. You can get really dramatic results really, really quickly something incredibly peaceful about being in a forest. It's a nice quiet place to talk about something I've been a little bit concerned about because for the last few years, despite appearances on here, I feel like my energy levels have been going down. I've been like feeling more tired and fatigued. It would be good to rule out <laughs> some of what could be causing that, because it could just be I'm burnt out. It could be that now that I'm in my mid thirties, my hormone levels are changing and that can result in tiredness and fatigue. Or what I'm quite worried about is that finally after uh, being bitten multiple times with those nasty little blood sucking ticks, I may now have Lyme's disease. And Lyme's disease is pretty concerning because you end up stuck with it for years and it causes all kind of tiredness and just unpleasant symptoms you won't want. So for that reason, I've done two tests with today's sponsor, Let's Get Checked. I've done a male hormone test, and the other test I've done is the Lyme's disease test. And it's super easy, order them on the website, they come in the post, you do a little ping, painless pinprick test. Just press this down until you hear a click. Was that it? Oh, that was it. That was remarkably entirely non-painful. Drip some blood into a vial. Dip, 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 dip. Stick your blood in the post, you package it up appropriately. And then a few days later, you get a text message, bing bong. 
to tell you that you can go online and view your results. And I've had my results back from the male hormone test and I'm boringly, averagely normal. I don't know why I'm seeming disappointed. That's a relief to know that everything's normal there and I can sort of rule that out. I haven't got the results shit from the Lyme disease test, so fingers crossed that's all okay. But yeah, thanks to Let's Get Checked for sponsoring this video. And if there's something you've got a concern about, go to the website, have a look, see if they have a test for it. They've got tests for all kinds of things. All kinds of things. Here we go, that's what we're after. Leading lines, a little bit of sunshine, mixed clouds. Always makes for a better photograph than just a blue sky. If you want to know more interesting facts about the Morns, don't, don't follow Stephen's YouTube channel. <laughs> Puddle, puddles, puddles. Photographers love puddles. Look, he loves it. Oh! Don't splash me with my puddle. What photograph are you trying to get? Yeah. Waterways in Ireland. What what do you call this? Is this a puddle? A pond? A shark? It's definitely not a shark. Bog? Pool? 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 There's a cave up here, by the way. There we go. What I want to do is get right in the back. And shoot out using the, the opening. Oh, that's really boggy in here. Yeah, when I get this, this is a silhouette, but as you can see, the center is overexposed. So on the GoPro, you can press and hold in the middle, and that'll change your your uh, your exposure point. So I'll do that now. What did you just say? I said banana skins rot, so I can just turf this in the grind. That's right, isn't it, Stephen? That's a hundred percent fact. You're going to die. Don't throw banana skins in the- <laughs> I snagged my bag in the cave. One of the best ways to do landscape photography is go out with other landscape photographers, wait until they go do all the effort to come up with composition, and then you just pop in behind them and steal their composition. How do you think I learned how to be a photographer? <laughs> Here's Castle. All right, let's go. Cool is a shot, stand, someone standing right in the end of that. What is this? Did you kick a sheep? Well, it's uh, one last photographic surprise. Um, there's a little secret waterfall down here. Do you see it? Oh, yeah, that's cool. And here's the photograph Connor's taking right now. No, come back! <laughs> Sun's gone. <sighs> right. Last subject of the day. The light is pretty much gone. Unless we get the sky lighting up, that's pretty much going to be it. But uh, yeah, hopefully this was a good little demonstration of uh, what you can actually do from a photography point of view with a GoPro in comparison to uh, 
Connor's photographs. I mean, I assume that you will have seen some of Connor's photographs as well, unless he didn't let me use them, in which case you'll have only seen mine and you'll know that Connor is a stingy pair of pants. <laughs> you vlogging this? No, oh yes, go and, this. go and check out Connor's vlog of this. Yeah, I have... How many subscribers do you have now? 35,000. Yeah. How many have you got? 699. Not 1,000, just 699. Oh, that's still, that's still respectable. That's still respectable. If 301 of your subscribers <laughs> came and subscribed to my channel, I have 1,000 yeah. subscribers. Yeah, that let's get Connor a 1,000 subscribers. Here, 600 people actually think your stuff's good enough to click sign up is uh, a decent achievement to start anyway. No mean feet. No mean feet. I'm fast and heavy on the kind of the vibrancy. Yes, we do have a different edit style. I, I tend to... I mean, I'll admit, I tend to overcook them a little bit. I tend to go for like the most drama. Yeah. Connor goes for more. I mean, yours, yours all are almost black and white with a bit of color. Sometimes, yeah, well, not, not quite, like high contrast. Not quite that, but I, yeah, I, I definitely don't punch the contrast yeah. as much or punch the vibrancy as much. Yeah. Well, I mean, you're dressed in all dark colors and I'm dressed in bright red. Yeah. Emo. Emo, yes, emo for life. <laughs> I, was a, uh, I was like an alt. Kind of alt, rock. Alt right. Um, yeah, not alt right. I was like an alt rock kid growing up. And yeah. then when I got to my late teenage years and into my twenties, kind of became hipster. And you know, so I'm always in that. that Basically weird. Connor jumps in every bandwagon going going is what he's trying to say. Absolutely. <laughs> if there's a bandwagon, I have there's on a that, bandwagon. Thank you very much. Yep, that's me. I went to a, a fancy dress party last Friday night. Yeah. Uh, as a hipster. As so all I so had you to just do, turned up? I just basically went with myself with, with a little bit extra. Like, I wore bright orange socks and rolled my jeans up. <laughs> I, I literally wore that hat. Do hipsters, wear, this, do hipsters wear socks? A lot of people don't wear socks. Seems like no one onto the edge of... Oh, what is that? Oh. I thought it was a dead kitten. Yeah, it seems to be no one onto the edge of 30 wears socks anymore. And I think it's a disgrace. I find it a bit weird, people who don't wear yeah. socks, yes. Yeah, it's like unless you're wearing flip flops or something. But. Yeah, or those like you know, like ankle socks. I get that, but it's people who wear leather it's leather shoes, shoes no socks. No socks. Weird. I mean, personally, I know if I did that, my feet would be swimming. <laughs> those shoes would be stinking. <laughs> would not be allowed in the house. I wear socks. Yeah, but I'm not really a hipster. Yes, socks are excellent. I hope I get some great socks for Christmas this year. Note, Louise, get Stephen socks. This is how I know I'm getting old. Also the fact I don't care. I looked like a prat wearing this thing. 